The English Channel is the stretch of water that separates England and France. At its nearest point, it spans 21 miles. The distance, variable weather conditions, cold water, and a guarantee of jellyfish all add to what is often considered the Everest of swimming. If that isn't enough, to swim the channel means crossing one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. Less than 2,000 people have successfully made a solo crossing, and in July this year, I intend to add my name to that list. So when asked why, my usual response is why not? I was drawn into triathlon at an early age, and in just over a decade, I raced for the British age group team and successfully completed an Ironman. After switching to marathon running, an injury put me back into the pool, and in 2016, I entered a 10K open water race. The buzz was back and the channel journey began. 2017 was spent mainly working on technique, whilst in 2018 I stepped up the distance, completing several long distance races and moving a step closer to the big one. This challenge is about testing myself, but really it is about far more than that. It is about raising funds and awareness for two charities that are very special to our family. My Nan Wynne is my only hero and was one of the most kind, selfless people you could have met. Sadly, she lost two of her four children to cancer, something no parent should go through. Following this, she channeled her time, energy and love into helping others, becoming a volunteer for the Osborne Partnership. Osborne's main focus is to support people with learning, physical or mental health needs. They provide support, information, advice and guidance across a range of training programs and activities which help their partners to identify their needs, fulfill their potential and participate more fully in society. Sadly, the loss of a child to cancer is what links my two special charities. Olivia was a normal, happy five-year-old little girl who went to Wickford C of E school with my youngest daughter Sophie. In 2017, Olivia's family lived every parent's worst nightmare when they were told that she had an inoperable brain tumour called DIPG. Just 12 months later, Olivia died at home surrounded by her family. Sadly, Olivia's story isn't a one-off and every nine days, a child in the UK is diagnosed with DIPG. Abby's Army is a charity founded in loving memory of Abby, another victim of DIPG. Their mission is to both raise awareness and funding for research to help overturn this terminal prognosis and provide advice and support for other parents going through this process. Completing this challenge will be a huge personal achievement, but with your help, we can do so much more for two charities who are very close to our hearts. Thank you.